Jazz Encounters Jazz Live Studio Sessions Great Composer Series is sponsored in part by funding from the Arts and Humanities Council of Montgomery County and the Montgomery County Government. Hello and welcome to Jazz Encounters Jazz Live Studio Sessions. This episode we bring you Ephraim and Evan Dorsey, a brother and sister team presenting the music of John Coltrane. These two are just absolutely amazing. And later on we'll bring you another Jazz Icons classic clip with pianist Earl Garner live in 63 and 64. Don't touch that remote, we'll be right back after these messages. Back to Jazz Encounters, Jazz Live Studio Sessions in our Great Composer series. And we have uh, two amazing siblings. It's, it, it's really kind of unique. We have Eben and Ephraim Dorsey. Welcome to Jazz Encounters. Thanks Thank for you having for having us. us. Yeah, yeah. Tenor and alto saxophone. Yes, sir. So how did you decide who would play what? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we first both started on the alto and okay. I wasn't really doing so hot. Uh -huh. 
and we went to this jazz sax camp that Carl Grubbs hosts. He's yeah, yeah, a wonderful Carl. saxophonist. Yes, I, know, I know Carl Grubbs, the Grubb brothers, yes. Yeah, but we didn't really go to learn the music. We really just went to improve my skill because I was lacking a lot. Okay. And then that's how we really got into jazz in the first place. Really? From there, we met Blake Meister, and uh -huh. he got us into the theory of what jazz is and how it works. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, all right. So you switched on tenor? Uh, I switched to tenor when we got the Rosa Pryor Scholarship Fund. Mm -hmm. um, Evan and I both got first and second place, so we had enough money to buy us some instruments, which was two sopranos, two new professional altos, yes. and one tenor sax. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So, Evan, so you, you decided to stay with the alto. Did you ever think about going to the tenor or, or another instrument? Um, I did think about switching, but not the tenor. I've always wanted to play baritone if it was going to be a deeper instrument. Uh -huh. And I guess like switching from E flat to B flat was going to be hard for me. Right. But I knew he had a good ear, so I was like, I can I can let him have it because I know he can like adjust easily. Okay. To like a deeper instrument like that. I see. All right. Good. 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 So mm -hmm. you you both decided to play the music of John Coltrane during our Great Composer series. So that, that's a big challenge. Um, how did you approach that challenge? Well, we were first thinking about um, Joe Henderson, mm -hmm. but then we went to see the Chasing Train documentaries, oh, okay. and we were surprised to see how he thought of his music. It was almost as if he was like a separate being from a different universe, sort of. Really? Okay, you got that. Okay, oh, really, really. All right, so mm -hmm. that inspired you so much that you decided to John Coltrane. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the compositions, how did you pick the compositions? Um, most of the compositions were something that were interesting to both of us, mm -hmm. but one tune in particular we wanted to learn just because everybody knew how difficult that w that tune was, and that tune okay. is called Giant Giant Steps. Yes, everyone yeah. knows that tune, and you guys did a very very good job of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, thank yeah, you, was thank impressed. you. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to look at you perform Giant Steps at the uh, at the Great Composers series at Jazz Encounters. Mm -hmm. So folks. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Stay with us. <laughs> 